All right, so the Blender 3.0 is here. The Asset Browser is here. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe, or do nothing, because you got free will. All right. So I've had this dilemma. I've had Kit Bash 3D, and I'm going to pause this because I don't feel like editing anything, because uh, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy 2D artist who can do 3D. And uh, I, there was a company called Kit Bash 3D. They got some wonderful models, but they're not the most... Uh, it can get confusing, especially if you're brand new. And if you're brand new to 3D and you just downloaded Blender for the first time, and you've heard about this awesome asset browser, it can be confusing. So what you want to do is, first of all, let me just show you. If you go down and you look for this double arrow, you pull this up. Now I am making this for people that are absolute beginners. So for those of you that know what to do, please bear with me. Be kind to others or not. All right. So right up here with a little time, uh, the little clock is, I'm sorry, I've been drinking a bit because I needed it to deal with this. <laughs> All right. Uh, where, where it says timeline, that's the timeline. We want to go way over here to the last column to do the acid browser, not acid, asset. <clears throat> really have to stop slurring my words. This is horrible. It's all falling apart. So here we go. Uh, that's the first thing you'll notice is that nothing is in here because you have to put stuff in here. So let's go ahead and do our little ritual of, eh, we could leave the light on, we'll hit shift and we will hit delete. And uh, if you go up to file, you have to go, or I'm sorry, you go to edit, you go to preferences. Uh, this is kind of the default folder that I have. You can have a default folder. I have one that says blender assets. And if you want to add a new folder, you just add the new folder there, right? That's what you do. So, uh, and over here, this is my folder. And I added two new folders, architecture and materials. And what I will do is, I'm trying to move this. I got two screens here. Uh, so you would just add, add this to your asset library or add asset library. So that means you're just going to navigate to the folder, any new folder that you create. This is where uh, the asset browser will pull from. Sorry about that. So I navigated to my public um, file. I'm going to add that architecture and I'm going to add the material. Well, I'm going to add the architecture folder for right now. So uh, it's Blender Assets. And I'm going to add architecture. I'm going to add asset library, close that. And I'm going to call this ar architecture. I don't know if I'm spelling it right. So I'm not that smart. Architecture. Okay. Don't drink in 3D, kids. It's very dangerous. So I've got this path selected. Now, let's go to the other part. So it's probably going to be a longer video, as you probably know if you clicked on it, right? So I'm just going to hit pause because I'm going to pull up uh, Kit Bash 3D. So this is Kit Bash 3D. And this is my account. These are some of the things that I have here. And uh, we got some kits. We also have some legacy kits. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those. But first, let's just download this. I got Neo City. We'll start right there. I'm going to click on it here. Now, format, it has a Blender format. That's cool. You could download it like that. It makes sense, right? But FBX and OBJ. Why am I downloading it like that? Because I want the materials already on the buildings. So when I save the assets, everything's just on the building. I'm doing this to kit bash stuff. I don't like having to do extra steps. Now, if you just want the FBX or if you just want the Blender native files, you can. But we're going to save these as a dot blend file with the materials. So I'm going to download kit. It downloads. It says native. I don't know why. I'm going to pause and then I'm going to rename this. Okay, so this is the native file. I unzipped it. I just didn't want to leave the video running while I'm up, uh, while I'm unzipping. Uh, and so we got our FBX file. And what I want to do is I want to import this. 
into Blender. So I'm just going to import it. And of course, I'm because when you import things, it takes a minute. Uh, and I'm recording, so it would take a little bit longer. And again, nobody wants to see that, especially not the algorithm. Uh, and, um, you know, that's that makes things more exciting when I pay attention to what the algorithm does. I don't know what an algorithm is. I'm not smart. So I'm going to import this. OK, so here are the buildings. I'm going to go over here to material preview. And I'm going to wait for it. This then takes a second. And got the wheel. So we're going to do a check before we do anything else. So let's see if it pops up. See if we got those materials there. Hmm. It's still going. So I am going to leave it on this time just to show you that. Ah, sometimes it just might take a little bit. Got to be patient. Because patience is good. I guess. I don't know. I don't have any, but yeah, whatever. All right. So let's see. Let's give it some more time here. If it takes a little bit too long, I'm just going to hit pause. I don't want to. So one of the things that I, that I did notice is that when I was bringing in the things to, uh, kit back from kit bash, the buildings, when I saved them as assets, they were being saved and they were turned. Let me hit. Oh, wait. Here we go. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. No. Uh, I'm going to hit pause because I think it's just it's not doing it while I'm recording. So. All right. So there we go. So we got our textures on here. So one of the things that I notice is that. So if I highlight this building right here and I go over here and I look uh, so this is, this appears to be, oh, okay. So check this out. So I highlighted this building right here and you see how over at the X it is negative 90. Well, if you tried to save these as assets, then it would save and it would be turned, right? And that's not what we want. So I'm going to go into wireframe. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to hit control A for apply and I'm going to apply all transformations. And so it zeroes that out. So now when we save it, it's going to be right side up. All right. So can we just go in and just save all this? Yes, we can. However, what's going to happen if you click and just hit save? So this may be of what you're running into. So if I mark this as asset, then it does this and it doesn't give me any preview or anything. Even if I go back here and I'm like, OK, so maybe if I just bring this out. Nope, it's you're just saving the empty itself. So I'm going to clear this asset. And what I want to do is. I got to. So let me see. So I'm going to go to wireframe. And I'm going to select all the ones with the triangles. And so I'm going to grab all those, the actual building itself. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit join. I can do control J. I know that. But I found that I think my this, I don't know what's going on. My keyboard, my mouse, whatever. So I've highlighted this. I'm going to right click control J. I'm going to do this. Over here, control J. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit, uh, I'm just going to do this all up and down. Control J. There's a few more of these to do. So I'm not going to bore you with, oh, that one's pretty, this one's pretty good. Cause I think it's just in one piece, but I just want everything all in there. Well, there's nothing to control J. <laughs> so, and you want to open up all of these so you can visibly see everything because when you hit every, when you um, mark them as assets, if the folders aren't open, 
then sometimes you won't pick up everything. And that leads to a lot of frustration. So we're going to right click control J. I'm trying to explain and do at the same time here. Because with Kitbash 3D, they, uh, they just like the glass is separated from the, some of the buildings and, and all other stuff like that. So this is a little bit time consuming. Let me zoom in here. A little bit time consuming, especially if you have a larger kit. But beggars can't be choosers, right? I'm not saying any of you are begging. Just, just putting it out there. All right. So now. Oh, OK, hold it. Oh, that scared me. OK. So now that we have all of these here. I'm going to go back uh, to my preview. And, okay, so I'm going to wait here. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go all the way down, hit Shift. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, right-click, and now I'm going to, oh, wait, I should save this. Hold on. I should save this first. Uh, let's see if I do this without saving it as a dot blend file. Mark as asset. Yep, I'm okay. All right, so now I have these assets. So these right here are the empties, right? So I can just clear the ass I can uh, clear the asset because I don't need the empty there I just want the buildings so I've done all this work now I'm gonna save it as a dot blend file and I have these assets that are ready to go because as a as doing 2d I want this stuff for backgrounds I don't and and I can take um, yeah, I, I want these for backgrounds. I don't want these for, I'm not trying to, I want them for backgrounds so that I can, I can paint over them or draw over them or whatever. So now I'm just going to go and I'm going to save this as a dot blend file, but I'm going to save it. Uh, and you can save this wherever you want to save it at. I'm just going to save this under my blender assets. I'm making a new folder called blend files. And you don't need to know that. But there you go. So uh, here we go. And I'm just going to save it. Just hit pause while I save it. So just letting you guys know, I saved this as like mini city. Save the Blender file. Just so I can have it saved. Now, as long as I am here, I want to put together some of these buildings. I want to kind of sort these out a bit. And if you want to... This is the other thing. If you want to, let's say, have, if I double, well, if I add to catalog, double click on the catalog, and I can say modern buildings. Now, it has, you have to add these on the current file. So, I have these and I'm going to put these in the modern building folder. It has to come from the file that is active. Uh, that's one of those things that, and so if I go down to modern buildings, you see I got these two towers there. So I'm going to go back to all. I'm going to add this building. I'm going to drag this over here. And so if I drag this out, see, I got the building with the materials and everything. Wonderful stuff. Uh, and I would, and I could, let me see, what what the heck is this? Is this a plaza? I think this is a plaza. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, well anyway. Uh, so that's how you, and if I want to add another folder, or I can make this into a subfolder. Uh, 
And so that's, that's how you, uh, do that. That's how you add in things from Kitbash 3D. Wow. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know what? I'll make another video for uh, the legacy kit and how I'm doing that too. So, uh, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to be uploading more videos because I got to start getting out there. It's like I'm dating again or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, uh, d do the stuff that the young people say, the like, share, the, the subscribe. We'll have a grand old time. All right, guys, peace.